Charlie Guria and I'm fine back on another base build and today I bring you a furnace base. I haven't really done one like this before so here we go. As you see right here just a standard triangle airlock. You can use those door glitches to shoot through and get some angle on people. As you see yeah, I'm maneuvering myself behind the double door to get some more angle on those wide shots. And right here as you can see we have an oil refinery where you can smelt your crude oil into low grade fuel. We have a large furnace here to do all your smelting goods etc. Those jumps are a bit tedious, but it's worth it, I think, for the size of the base. So your swing bag, oil campfire right here. And this is basically where your starter is going to be. As you see right here, five boxes, I think that should be enough to get it started off with. And that one by one with the triangle lock. And right here, up the use with the ladder hatch, we get onto our furnace room. We get some furnaces and right here is basically where our main loot is going to be stored for the purpose of the starter basically right there's some more storage your locker and just some more storage on the right hand side if you go to the top as you can see i use the wooden spike walls you can actually use high external stone ones if you want to and with the new update the floor grills allow you to place it above a furnace so onto the baseball guys um it's quite easy what i just suggest is that you start off with this one by one with the triangle airlock in the front of it i'm just going to show you guys a trick that um, i saw in a video that i think is quite useful and that you guys can maybe use in the future when you're just building it it just saves you some cost if you put a door right here and you open it you can shoot through like that and they can't actually get inside your base um obviously if it's code locked it should help a lot um but that's quite a unique thing to use in my opinion but for the purpose of the video i use double doors so we could get that extra box in with the shelving shelves as you see right here just placing your boxes never forget your sleeping bag to answer the build further what you want to do is you just want to go out in a little c shape like this place a square and a triangle on the right hand side of the square and upgrade delete the twig upgrade the triangle this is where your tool cupboard will be and in my opinion i didn't show in the video because i want to use your own discretion guys adding some more layers to the base more honeycomb basically doors for entrance for the oil refinery i would upgrade all these to sheet metal only because it's more difficult to pick hacks um people know that by now i hope um but that's the option to go is sheet metal right here i'm just gonna place a large furnace um, you can try and stick it as close as you want to it can be a bit further back if you want that extra storage from maybe for hemp and food etc like that there is a possibility to do that completely up to you just twink it a little bit and fiddle with it and see what works best for you in size proportions etc back into the base just slap on your doors um, I would suggest that you at least try and get the resources like the large furnace and the walls and stuff before placing otherwise people are going to get your loot quite quickly and you see right here just adding another layer basically shifting that one point um, just a mention maybe make that one a wooden roof instead of a stone or sheet um, it's easier to pick down when you actually do the base build ladder you can actually use a ladder hatch if you want to but then you're gonna have to sacrifice a loot room um, or you need to expand the base a bit more to use a ladder hatch but completely up to you but i think early game access and gears are more necessary to use an armored door in my opinion um, so that's what i would do right here just placing your secondary loot room nothing too crazy
what you want to do is if you want to place these boxes like five of them you need to place them as far back as possible and just rotate the one and place it it should snap easily and as you can see it maybe sticks through but you can't access that box placing your locker there for quick spawning and re-gearing people with the door cam here or something like that Placing some furnaces, um, I like to use the prison cell gate just because it, it's a bit safe and it has good security purposes in my opinion. You can shoot through them and stuff if people are inside your base. Oh, just to the top part, basically to close off that large furnace so people can't just build in and get your loot. The new update, you can place floor frames above a large furnace and you can close them with the use of floor grills. So that's what the base should look like from the top after it's finishedly built and now i just want to show you guys that you can expand the base a bit more and if you want roof access this is a good way to do it um, just add an extra layer of honeycomb basically to your base so if they were to raid you from the top it should be it should be more difficult and they can't just get to your main lead basically so it's just basically adding an airlock to that ladder hatch and then you have some roof access as well but that's a baseball guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this one and maybe twinkle a little bit and sound what you guys think thanks for watching please like and subscribe cheers guys